Blake locked out of four. This is a rare sight. Newman looking for the end zone. Flag is thrown. Will not matter. Touchdown, Sage Surratt. Against 5'9", DJ Williams. Here he goes. Scotty Washington wins it. A hole in the mesh point on a long period of time. Newman has it this time for the Wake Forest touchdown. Newman to throw it. Hinton high points it, comes down with it, and gives Wake Forest the lead. His fifth year with a touchdown at Wake Forest, none of them bigger than this. Christian Beal Smith next to Newman. Newman looking to the corner, fires, and it's caught. Sage Surratt, touchdown. Wake Forest, two possessions and two touchdowns. Bill Thayer, our producer, Michael Frank, our director, Tom Wicks, our AD here tonight. Into the air, into the air, it goes to Washington, and you just said it, Ross. Those big, tall receivers. And Scotty Washington goes up and over, six foot one. Andrew Bird, no chance, touchdown, Wake. Might have just been the three-man rush, but they're not getting any pressure right now. Newman taking a shot, Washington down there, Washington's got it! Scotty Washington's got it, and Scotty Washington takes it in! Touchdown! 59 yards on the strike from Newman. Hello, Newman. And watch this, Newman just throws it up. Scotty has a step on him, huh. reaches up. D'Angelo Ellis had perfect coverage, reached yeah. out. Watch, watch 12, puts his right arm up there. That is just a huge human being. Riding the read, Newman keeps. And Newman is in. Touchdown, Wake Forest. Demon Deacon's on the board first. It becomes almost like a power whenever they hold on to it that long. Jamie Newman almost had the running back leading the way through the hole there. Two yard left behind on that bounce right there. I like that. Two yard left behind. Another deep shot looking for Surratt. Second and three, Jamie Newman on the run. Can pick up the first down without the score, but he wants the score. Touchdown, Wake Forest. His second of the night. Refuses to be stopped. Fresh set of downs for Wake Forest. Shot deep. Surratt got it. And he is in for the touchdown. Newman to throw again. Throws it short of the goal line, but Scotty Washington will walk it in. Touchdown, Demon Deacons. Conversion opportunity. Oh, here is fourth down, and it's Roberson, his second catch of the drive. And he breaks a couple of tackles, and he's going to go. Touchdown, Demon Deacons. First of the year for Jaquari Roberson. They have to throw. If they stay back, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run it. On third down, Newman fires wide open. Saves Surratt. The Deacons have their third touchdown of the half. Said, hey, I don't know where this kid's going to go. He's going to go to Harvard, but can you look at him? Here's Newman downfield. Surratt is open. He's got it. Touchdown, Wake Forest. What a dime that was from Newman. Like this, you've got to get help up front. Let's take a look at the offensive line. They do a really good job. You see Walker step up and take what potentially was a blitzer on, but Surratt just runs through the middle of the defense and just a mistake in the back end by Elon. If you're the safety, you cannot allow the slot receiver to run right down through the middle of the field. Washington at the bottom of the formation. It's Washington on the deep ball. Scotty Washington delivers in the big spot yet again, and it's a Deacon touchdown. You make yourself vulnerable if you're going to commit everybody to the run game, which is what they were doing. So this is the low percentage throw. This is the lowest percentage throw you can force them into, and the ball is perfect. And don't forget, you got a six foot five wide receiver that can high point the football. The coverage is as good as you're going to see. Reed Bennett's in perfect position. Newman's going to keep it. Get the first down and a lot more. Break straight from that first line. 40, 30. Eagles giving chase, and Newman finally steps out of bounds after a huge gain. That's 50 yards on the carry. Newman looks Surratt's way. Battling for it in the end zone. Surratt with a one-handed catch. Wow. Uh, 
know, he just bullied him on this play. And Brandon Sebastian just trying to hang on for dear life. But when you can just use one hand and make a contested catch, look at that. He's Sebastian's got a hand in there, almost hitting the ball. And Sage Surratt. See fans are on their feet for this third down. Trying to find Washington. Touchdown! Level in college football and watch him go up. Really good defense by Jason Matry, but Washington's hands are so strong. He's a former basketball. Third and 19 for Newman. Time in the pocket. Looks to the middle. And caught. Complete by Right to him. Newman to throw again. Watch the end zone. That one is caught. And a touchdown. Sage Surratt. And fire the end zone and a touchdown. They've been such a good running team this season. He's going to throw it down the right side. Caught by Surratt. And he's into the end zone for a touchdown. And then normally the players they get, they're trying to develop. They get him there and coach him up. And you can see the growth of uh, Newman here is going to keep it at the 15. Outside of the 10, heading for the end zone. Touchdown, Jamie Newman. Impressive opening drive by Wake. Well, Greg, you got these two big receivers on both sides versus very inexperienced corners in the red zone. Great opportunity for a jump ball here. Newman to throw, got a receiver open. A touchdown, Frudenthal. Nobody covered the tight end. It's a great catch by Frudenthal. But how about the throw up and over the def If it's 21-0 in the first quarter with a lack of firepower and injuries for NC State, look out, Newman powering his way to the goal line. They stack him up, but there's some push by Newman, and he's in the end zone for the touchdown. It's 6-4-2-30. They could not keep him from hitting pay during the top of your screen. Somebody's got to get over there for NC State. Now Surratt comes in motion. They roll the other way, and it's a touchdown. Frudenthal's got two. Walked with some help to the sideline. It is first and goal from the four. Newman rolling out, throwing, and it's a touchdown again for Frudenthal. That is his third touchdown of the game. They just keep him kind of locked in right here. You see him right there in the middle of the field. Releases down, captures the edge, and is a late leaker into the flat. Forces that one over Surratt. Makes the catch and stays on his feet. He'll get into the end zone. Whoa. Well, there is not much you can do as a defense to stop that blitz coming from the top of the round. Let's look at the end of the play to see if he gets in. And it looks like he does. I want to see if that ball moves at all. Empty backfield now for Newman. Another flag down, goes to the end zone, touchdown Surratt! Well, let's see what the flag Outside is. Outside defense, number 90, penalty is declined, touchdown. Starts from the slot position, you're going to see this happen more frequently throughout the game as Virginia Tech keeps taking away Surratt on the outside, look for him to change his lineman, his position, a little inside. And trying to intercept the ball. Certainly not on that occasion. Here's the run, though. The quarterback, Newman, heading for the end zone. He scampers in for the touchdown from 42 yards. Dylan Singleton missed a tackle, and that really cost the Duke Blue Devils. 40 runs. More competitive for Duke. He'll go airborne. He's going for a long strike. He's got Hinton. Hinton with the catch. Gets away from a tackler. He is into the end zone. An electrifying play, 62 yards. <laughs> Newman off the fake. Launching for Kendall Hinton. Touchdown, Wake Forest. What a drive to open the day. What they can do with it. 54% touchdown rate. Newman. Trying to throw to one on one. Donovan Green reaching out. What a catch!
Touchdown, Wake Forest. Stumbling and still catching it. It's really not bad coverage anywhere. This is just a nice job of giving the receiver an opportunity for a back shoulder throw. Adam, you've heard me say it a hundred times. Newman off the back foot. He's got Jack Brudenthal. And the captain and senior takes it home for a touchdown.